that one gift they want more than anything for Christmas. This is the story of mine. Bookends? They have baseballs on them. I see that. No, not those. Nintendo. A maze of rubber wiring and electronic intelligence so advanced it was deemed not a video game, but an 8-bit entertainment system. Hello everybody, welcome back to Screen Stars. I'm here today to bring you my review for the 2021 Christmas film, 8-Bit Christmas. A film that is directed by Michael Dowes and it is fair, based sorry, on a famous book apparently, or certainly a well-known book. And it stars Winslow Fegley, Neil Patrick Harris, Steve Zahn and June Diane Raphael. Now, this film... Um, focuses on Neil Patrick Harris's character who essentially is having a conversation with his daughter about his Christmas in 1988 where the only thing he ever wanted was a Nintendo entertainment system. Um, so essentially he's telling his life back in 1988 um, and how he wanted this present more than anything and how he went back how we went by trying to attain this um, seemingly unattainable gift. Right, what are my thoughts on 8-Bit Christmas? Well, I saw the trailer for this a few weeks ago and I actually thought it looked really fun and really charming and I could really relate to it. Not that I was one of those kids that wanted a Nintendo Entertainment System at that time, but I have been through Christmases, you know, and then we really want that unattainable gift and... Um, and I, I, around that time, certainly in the 80s and 90s, there would have been like other like video game systems that I, I would have really wanted, like the Master System and the N64 and uh, the Atari 2600, all that kind of stuff. So I grew up in that period where video games were born, um, essentially, and how they evolved. And uh, so I, I was there from the beginning in regards to them all. So because I'm like, a child of the 80s in the sense of you know I was I grew up in the 70s and 80s this this film just hit an awful lot of nostalgia um, it ticked a lot of nostalgia boxes for me is what I'm trying to say this film and it, I thought it was superbly made and very very entertaining and a really really fantastic family film um, it was a lot of fun to watch. I like a good Christmas film. I'm always looking for um, a new, potentially classic Christmas film going forward. And I think this could, you know, sneak in there for a lot of people. But like I say, because it ticks a lot of these nostalgia boxes. And I think a lot of people are going to be able to relate to this film. Uh, parents and kids. Kids will enjoy it for what it is in regards to a really fun and at times funny Christmas film parents will relate to it because of you know the era that they grew up into and then it even talks in this film about the cabbage patch dolls or the cabin patch kids cabbage patch kids and i remember my sister wanting one of these desperately when they came out i don't remember us really struggling to get one but I, I, you know i wouldn't have been that interested in trying to get hold of a cabbage patch kids kid maybe my mum uh, would be able to tell say differently if she was here and say no it was a nightmare to get older one um, so it was really clever how they made this film um, the fact that this Nintendo entertainment system you know that nobody had one apart from the rich kid so you see every Saturday morning all the kids are waiting outside this rich kids house and every day every Saturday he came out and cho chooses 10 kids to come in his house and play his Nintendo with him and um, I thought that was really really funny and um, Steve Zahn as well who is perfect in these sort of roles who plays like the comedy dad in these films he did it with the um, oh, uh, Diary of a Wimpy Kid films he was brilliant in those as well I remember watching them years ago with my son when he was younger and I thought he was really good in those films he plays a very very similar role here um, as like the funny quirky dad um, and I thought he was a real highlight of the film but I have to say as well a lot of these films, and it might seem obvious to say it, live and die on the children cast into the film. And I have to say, I thought they were all really good. Very, very smart casting. They were all funny. They were all charming. Um, none of them, I thought, dragged the film down. They all added something to it. And the lead child actor, Winslow Fegley, 
I thought was brilliant um, as Jake. Um, he did a really, really good job in this film and conveyed this desperation for wanting this Nintendo system perfectly. Uh, and he would do anything to get it. And, you know, he joins the Scouts to try and win this Christmas wreath competition because the winner apparently was going to win a Nintendo system. So he and the rest of the kids in the neighborhood are desperate um, to get this, um, to win this competition so that they can get this. Um, it it gets a little bit soggy in the middle of the film. Uh, great start, great end to the film. A little bit of a soggy period in the middle, but it, not that it drags it down or anything. It just slow the pace down a little bit in the middle. And there's other things I could relate to in this film as well. You know, one of the characters has a birthday that's close to Christmas. I do as well. My birthday is on the twenty second of December. So I I suffered the way these kids suffered in this film in a sense of I always used to as a kid get Christmas and birthday um, gifts together from a lot of people so they used to I used to get like a Christmas present that said happy birthday stroke Christmas from like this relative sort of thing and it used to really wind me up so consequently I don't really have a lot of love and affection for for birthdays because uh, I never really massively celebrated it as a kid so again it, it ticked that box for me in regards to nostalgia there's a great vomit scene in it, as you always. We always enjoy a good vomit scene in children's films. There's a scene where he loses his retainer, which is like a plate, you know, that our kids have in America that I thought was really funny. Him trying to find it before his dad gets hold of him. So it, it was funny, this film. It was entertaining, and ultimately it had actually quite a lot of heart as well and a decent amount of emotion to it at the end. So it wasn't as, as too sickly sweet by the end. So I, I, this film actually ticked. You know, I'm saying it again, ticked a few boxes for me. And it was a really, really good Christmas film. I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10. It's a film I strongly recommend you guys check out. Leading up to Christmas, I promise you it'll put you in a good Christmas mood. So thank you very much. Um, I'll try and get some more Christmas uh, reviews up leading up to the uh, Christmas day. And obviously I'll be back with loads more reviews and content on the channel very, very soon.